Are you in the military and looking to get into cybersecurity? This video is just for you. Hey guys, it's DC here and today I wanted to talk to you about transitioning from working in the military to getting a job in cybersecurity. It's something that's asked fairly often of I've been working in the Air Force, or I've been in the Navy or whatever, and I want to get into a cybersecurity role in a government agency. Now, I've talked about this in live streams before and I've talked about it briefly, but I wanted to put a little bit more detail into this video to show you exactly how you can and why you are actually positioned to move directly into cybersecurity. So in most situations, you've been working in the army or some sort of military service job for a period of like five to 10 years. You've decided that the military service is no longer for you, which is fine. And you, you wanna get out and you wanna do a job that's similar, but fighting a different kind of war. Cybersecurity is actually one of those industries where you can move directly across into with a couple of certifications and some pointers on how to improve your position to get into a job. Now, without sort of beating around the bush and making a whole bunch of words without getting anywhere, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. Option number one is to look up a organization called With You, With Me Academy. Their whole business is literally aimed at getting people who are veterans or in the military service into cybersecurity. Now, I'm going to use their model to basically tell you what they would tell you to do, but with the difference that they actually help you get these sort of certifications and experience. So usually how they start is they start with a, a sort of basics of IT knowledge. They take this knowledge and then they apply a couple of certifications. So usually they start with the CompTIA A+, then the CompTIA Security+, and then some other cybersecurity certifications, depending on which sort of route within cybersecurity you want to go to or that you feel like you would fit in best. I don't know how much it costs and I'm, I'm not sponsored by With You With Me Academy. I just know about them and figured I'd include them in here. The other option that you have is to do an A plus from CompTIA, followed by the Security Plus, and then gain experience in a help desk or maybe even a networking role after you achieve the CCNA certification from Cisco. The reason I say uh, the Cisco certification is because it is much easier to actually get a job in networking or in a help desk even with a CCNA rather than without one. It's something that recruiters recognize and they, they will position you to become a network engineer, which you can then transition into cybersecurity from. The main benefit for people who are in the military or have just left the military is that they probably still have some sort of government clearance. Now, this is honestly the best thing going for you at the moment in cybersecurity. Most of the positions that I see at the moment that are being advertised are, as a minimum, you need to have a government clearance. And it's quite difficult to get a clearance without having prior work experience, but being from military service, you've already got the clearance. So that's the, the major milestone already out of the way for you, which is awesome. Now, there are other options like just working your way up from a help desk, but I feel like if you've been in the military for maybe like five to 10 years, you're probably around the late 20s to 30s to 40 year old bracket. And you don't wanna be spending like another two years doing a cybersecurity degree or um, working in a help desk role for three years and then becoming a network engineer and then getting into cybersecurity eventually after five years. It's, it's probably not in your game plan to do something like that. So the plan is literally get out of the army or whatever it is you're doing, aim for the CompTIA A+, get a CompTIA Security+, Plus. these can both be achieved within six months. Then spend the remainder of those six months of a year getting your CCNA. I say six months for the CCNA because I find it to be actually a pretty tricky exam. The certification is, is pretty in depth and there's a lot to learn, especially for someone who maybe doesn't have too much IT experience. After that, you need to leverage your clearance and move yourself into a position where you can get into a cybersecurity role. Networking does definitely play a massive part like it does with anything and rubbing shoulders and going to events if possible where there are other cybersecurity people already there is a major benefit. 
And this is where the With You With Me Academy actually plays a huge, huge part. They have a massive online community of people in exactly the same position as you who are studying together and working towards getting a job in cybersecurity. And the, the other major benefit of With You With Me Academy is that they know these employers already. So they say, we've got this many students with this certifications and clearance. How about you take them as interns? And they, they will try and push you to move you into a cybersecurity role. So I honestly, I can't recommend them enough. I wish they sponsored me because I talk about them all the time. Anyway, this is just a, a quick little video on how to get from military service into cybersecurity. If you did find this useful, please do like, comment and subscribe. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, please do become a channel member. I do really appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys and girls. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.